You ever had Buckley's? Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Facts. It's like Buckley's. Oh, my gosh. Oh, fuck. Now I'm going to have You know fish. what? You should have like a uh, smelling salt. Yeah. That would be kind of crazy. I think some other podcast does it before everything. But to be honest, it's like, yeah, Loki, I do feel a kick in it. What the That's what I'm saying. Like, like, it hit me still. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not no sponsor, though. We're not telling you what we just drank. Yeah. That. Facts. But honestly, I never I never tried using caffeine to stay awake until the podcast. Until, oh, really? Until editing. Because mm. I used to... Remember we used to edit? Yeah. I would I would stay up to like 5 a.m. editing, uh-huh. but I would only take it like when I started dowsing off. Really? But I feel like if you take it beforehand, it will fuck you up like mentally. I don't mm. know. Because you're you're too like racy, you know? Yeah. I, I don't... I can't do coffee because I think I said this before, but coffee actually does the opposite to me. Makes you tired? Yeah. So I'll, I'll drink coffee in the morning and I'll go back to sleep. What the fuck? How? Yeah, I don't know. People, I think people commented before is like if you have like ADHD or something or something like weird with you, yeah. like it'll do the opposite. Caffeine actually makes you think. So S- it slows you down. It makes me more tired. Like I want to go to sleep. So does does alcohol pick you up? Alcohol picks me up. Theory. Because look, look. If 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 caffeine slows you down, then alcohol will do the opposite because yeah. usually coffee picks you up mm. and then alcohol brings you down. Oh, so I'm the opposite. So it might be the opposite. Yeah, that's because I think when I was a kid, mm-hmm. whenever I drank caffeine, yeah, or something like, I guess like coffee or or a coke, I felt tired. <laughs> but is that because of the sugar? Because sugar mm. makes you tired, no? Probably because it's, it's, it's like weird because some bodies take sugars differently. So it's like me, I just drank that. Maybe yeah. like Loki in 40 minutes, I'll be passed out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Mid five I'm just dead like this. I'm, like, I'm just like telling the story. I'm like, oh fuck. Nah, bro. And then, and then your and then your side effects is like, I'm activated. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you should have seen for the people that don't know when we were setting up, Carlos just randomly goes, Yo, it's kicking in. <laughs> it was like you just took a perk, fam. Yo, that's how this should be sometimes, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. honest. You, Honestly, uh, this this is true with with working out too. Uh-huh. If you guys actually like use your head mm. and use your, I guess your imagination to see and and feel your muscle fibers tearing yeah. while you do the exercise, <laughs> you have an increase in your in your workout and you'll actually work out better mm. and your muscle will grow more. Word. Like if you use your mind to muscle, this yeah. is a real thing. All athletes should know this, uh-huh. but you have to like stimulate it by thinking about it. Like I'm hitting exactly this part of the. The thing. Yeah. Right? Yo, it was crazy. It's like, um, I saw in New York too when, um, uh, what do you call the needles one? Hair. Yeah, hair. Oh, not in New York. Yo, wait, but that, that, that's, a, that's like a safe word. You can't say okay, that. Okay. Uh, Cut that out. Yeah, yeah. But the H word, yeah. The H word. So I saw one guy, uh, he went live on my, on my Instagram, a guy I follow. Mm-hmm. And bro, he took it on live. Like drug? Yeah, yeah. And you know how like when you're off it, yeah. you like do the Michael Jackson slant. <laughs> Bro, oh, his shit. girlfriend took his phone, and I was watching this. Yeah, and he's he's like, <laughs> like nah. he, like That's off it, fam. Fuck, man. Yeah, those those people that really like trip out. Mm-hmm. It feels like The Walking Dead, bro. Yeah, because I saw a video of um, what's it called? I think it's called East Hastings in in Vancouver. Mm. That's apparently the the worst part of Canada. Really, bro, it looks like The Walking Dead. Literally, looks like the apocalypse. Like um, how uh, L A has that? What's that road? It's like um. The one with all the homeless people. That's the Skid one Row. in LA. That's like Skid, Skid Row. Row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so saying it's I that. Think it's like the same that, thing. Whoa, that's yeah. crazy. Yo, speaking about sleeping though. Yeah. Do you did you ever like wake up in the middle of the night but feel like not tired? Feel like awake? Feel like not tired? Like you ever you ever wake up like randomly in the night, middle of the night? Yeah. And then you're just straight awake. Like you don't feel groggy and shit. You don't feel tired at all. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's happened to me before. Have Why? you ever woke up at 3.15 a.m.? <laughs> that's specific, but that's yeah, specific. probably. That's specific. Probably around like that time. You might be cursed. No, man. <laughs> no, we can't say it off like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> if, if you ever woke up yeah. at 3.15 a.m., okay. you might be cursed. Like, Why, though? Legit. So, I don't know if you ever heard about the Amity House. No, no, no. So, there's this, uh, this is a real haunted house. I believe in the States somewhere. Mm-hmm. And you know Ed and Lorraine Warren, the conjuring investigators? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, you, the real life, like, demonologists, right? Yeah, yeah, you, you said that. So brother. they claim this house to be one of those houses that is truly attached to demons. Oh, now, the story goes mm. that there was this man, mm-hmm. and for some reason, till, still to this day, there was a, they said a voice came to his head and told him to murder his three family members, his two daughters and his wife. Now, what's weird, and mm. still to this day, 
they have no evidence and no like reasoning why the family members didn't wake up and didn't fight back. So what happened was each of the each of the the family members they were lying down straight on their face like this, yeah. flat. And each one didn't move while he went ahead and killed every single one of them with a gun. What the now, fuck? Now what happened was obviously he went to jail and mm -hmm. he did the questioning and shit. Yeah. But that house, that house ended up going back on sale. Okay. Oh, and no. some family ended up moving in there. Mm -hmm. Now this family, they were haunted for years. Yeah, fam. probably. For, fam. No, not years, but like however long yeah, they stayed. Yeah, it has to, yeah. It's fucked. Now, one of the things that, that freaked me out when I heard the story, Yeah. they would always get a haunting at what time? 3.15? 3.15 a.m. And story goes that they would realize later uh -huh. that 3.15 a.m. Yeah. was the time the family was murdered. Oh, shit. Was All when the killing went, when the killing happened. Holy and man. what's crazy, the wife who lived there, uh -huh. she had nightmares and dreams of exactly how the murders went down, exactly the order of each family what member dying. And everything like that. And she didn't even know those people. She didn't know those people. There's no, there's oh, not even like, nah. there's not even solid, um, I guess, outline of what, what exactly went down on that night. Uh -huh. But she was able to completely say what happened, yeah. how it looked, how everything went down. Now, some of the things that they saw mm -hmm. was the the husband yeah. that lived with with them. He would see like his his kids like levitate. Like what they, the they would just like levitate, like literally just in, in the fucking in like the family room. They're just like levitating <laughs> yeah. and shit. The mom, yo, the mom, she would walk into the kitchen. Uh -huh. This fuck, and the husband would look at her, and on her face, he would see like an old woman. Uh huh. <laughs> so what? imagine like somebody you know, like and then, shape shifting, like they appear old to you. Oh nah. So. He, he was looking at her and he's like, she's old and he's, he's getting freaked out, but she, she can't see it. Yeah, Only yeah. he can. Mm. And one of the other things I think was like blood would drip out of the keyholes and the locks. There would be a uh, screaming that they don't understand why. Yeah. And all of this shit would happen around like 3.15 a.m. Okay. Now, other people have been attached to this quote unquote curse mm -hmm. because they made a movie about it. Yeah. And... The movies, I think it's called Poltergeist, I believe. Oh, Poltergeist. Yeah. That's what it's about? I think. I think. Oh. I think that's the movie. But every single person that, I guess, was involved with the making of that movie mm -hmm. suffered a tragedy. Mm -hmm. So I think the first actress, like the, the lead actress in it, Damn. she was killed in an accident. And I think like another of the leads, like she died of a sickness, yeah. like a, a odd sickness they don't they can't un, uh, explain yeah and um like other things happen to to crew members and the other people that were on site mm -hmm. and what's weird is each of them if they were involved with the shooting mm -hmm. of the film they all had nightmares and they would all wake up at 3 15 a.m bro uh, like uh, even right. after they were away from the site yeah crazy so 315 that was the number so theory goes just like you know incantation uh-huh how the more a curse is spread the less it affects you yeah i don't know if you heard about that no. but anyways theory goes that hearing about it and like watching the movie whatever it is yeah. attaches the curse to you and if you wake up at 3 15 a.m yeah then you're attached to it there's not necessarily think bad things that will happen to you mm -hmm. Because like in that incantation theory that if there's more people attached to a curse, the weaker it gets. Mm -hmm. And then that's the reason of pushing it out. Yeah. Okay. But but like everyone in that house was probably forever cursed though, right? Because it's like all the stories I, I've seen, it's like when uh, the curse will maybe disappear for like yeah. a year, but it will always come back. So what happened, the family that stayed there, yeah. they ended up moving out. Okay. But what happened... Another one came in? Don't tell me. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I don't know what exactly what happened to the house specifically, yeah. but the family that moved out, they said the demon followed them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Followed them, They bro. have to, yeah. That's so fucked. <laughs> and um, they were they were always the interviewed mm -hmm. and news broadcasters always came to them for stories and shit. Yeah. But this time, I guess they were so... I don't know. 
like mentally unstable from the thing that happened to them uh-huh. they didn't want to say any more words about it they just like yeah. disappeared from the media probably priests they need a but there's other shit that happened yeah. they also brought a priest there to do exorcism to to check it out and try and bless and and remove the spirits and shit yeah yeah but the moment the priest went there to the house uh-huh. he heard like a voice in the back of his head saying fuck that. get out oh fuck that. get out <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> no dead ass and then um what happened was he said like he was he was like standing in the middle of the, <laughs> the living room, bro, and he would hear the voice, and all of a sudden he got a slap on his face. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine I'm like I'm like, like I'm an like invisible slap, like Pah. holy fuck. Imagine Hail Mary fall. Oh fuck. Yeah, bro got slapped in the face. Yeah. And he was pretty much saying that there's a there's the spirit of like a demon somewhere in that in the in the upper stairs. Yeah, Cause yeah. that's where all of that shit happened, like the mm-hmm. murders and shit happened. Yeah. That's a fucking crazy story. Yeah. But like, I, I also um, found another one mm-hmm. where it's like, um, so have you ever heard of the first exorcism ever performed? Is it, is it the... Maurice and no, Nancy? No, I never heard of that. You no, have no, it? No, no. Okay. Because this is not the exorcist, right? No, no, no. Okay. This is like real, like footage is there too. Mm-hmm. But obviously I can't show the footage because it's very disturbing. So it starts off with uh, Nancy and Maurice, right? Yeah. So Maurice is the one that they notice stuff like like changing, right? Mm-hmm. And he's, um, he's married to Nancy... Everything was so chill. Like, he has grandchildren that he played with. Like, he was, like, the fun uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, he owns a farm. He was a quiet guy. So, imagine, quiet, shy farmer, all of a sudden, starts changing. And Nancy noticed this. Mm -hmm. So, Maurice started, like, um, his facial expressions were, like, went from, like, happy and joyous to, like, dark. You can got possessed. Yeah, like, you can, like, dark. And, like, his eyes... Like, his pupils would be bigger and stuff like that, right? Yeah. And he didn't just become violent. Like, he wanted to, like, kill his children. And he wanted to kill Nancy. Bro, it's always that, though. Yeah. That's weird as fuck. That's what I'm saying. It's always that. Yeah. So, what Nancy also noticed, I think um, one day, he was sitting in a a chair, his eyes bleeding. Nah. When when he removed his clothes, because he was getting hot, there were marks of crosses on his back. Wait, wait. Crosses, like... Well, upside down ones. No, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Upside down ones. And Nancy would notice objects flying randomly across the room. So yeah, like you yeah, said, yeah. the levitating children, mm-hmm. same fucking thing. She would just fly up. Yeah. So this is when they're like, okay, what can we turn to? We got to go to a priest to perform the first exorcism. Mm-hmm. Like I said before, I can't show the footage. But in the in the video, I'll just try and describe it. The priest starts rubbing his face with like a, a towel. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. think it was it was um, holy water. Mm-hmm. And he's just rolling around trying to avoid it. Yeah. Right? His face fully changes. Now his eyes are like slits. No. His eyes are slits. And the left side of his face is bubbling. No. That's yeah. crazy. So imagine this. The priest goes, uh, starts chanting, doing his thing, doing his thing. All you see, who are you? The guy says, oh. No, <laughs> Chill, chill, chill. But the guy says, the guy, the guy says, oh, I'm here to uh, corrupt everyone's life. That's what? <laughs> That's what he says. And that was perfect, bro. That's scary, fam. So imagine he says that and his uh, the priest keeps chanting and he like slaps him or something. His eyes roll back and he collapses. And then and then he's just gone. No. No, and he wakes up like saved? That's what you think, fam. I think, um. oh no. Uh, yeah, I think he wakes up saved. Yeah. But obviously... Maurice was good for like a good two years, but like your story too, it always comes back. So one time he grabs a shotgun. Yeah. And he starts chasing down Nancy. Oh shit. So he's he's still like plugged in yeah. somehow. So he, it's like he got out of it, got back in random day. He grabs a shotgun, starts chasing Nancy across the forest, grabs her and puts her in a chair in the basement. Nah. You think she's going to shoot Nancy? He goes, Nancy. I don't want you to ever forget this. Shoots himself. No, what the fuck? Yeah. And Nancy and his kids were traumatized from that. Because obviously, oh. if you're trying to escape something, that's the only way you can escape it, to be honest. What if, do you think Do you think that was his way of like tra- traumatizing them? Or was that his way of like stopping worse things from happening? Because what <laughs> if like that very last second, mm. he was able to stop the demon and, and you know? But alive oh, him. I think it was Imagine. Yeah. But I think it, it is you're right. It was more leaning on towards like, like traumatizing tra- them. Like I'm going out with like on bad terms with these guys. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. But shit. that could be it too. Cause uh-huh. you could be like fighting back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, at the same God time, it's like you, yo, God. But yeah, save those two you, stories bro. are so fucked. I hope you're not watching at nights though. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no,
<laughs> no, because we usually don't start it like that. But bro said, fuck that. <laughs> like, holy shit. Oh, do you want to know another one? What, what? I, oh, my God. So, you know, like, um, how gins can, like, replicate people's bodies? Yeah, 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 yeah. There was another one I seen where a gin was replicating a, a, hus- a wife's voice. So, so he was able to, like, impersonate? Yeah, and there, it was caught on camera. So... What, imagine one night you're sleeping fast asleep in your bed. Yeah. And your wife calls out, babe, come downstairs. Babe, come downstairs. And you're you're noticing like, my wife's on vacation. No. <laughs> so some guy, some guy woke up. He's like, oh, what the fuck? My wife's on vacation. I'm going to start recording because this is kind of crazy. Yeah. So look, I'll show you this. It literally sounds like a woman, fam. Yeah, come downstairs. Horrified by the fact that it's late at night. Oh, his wife's a- oh shit. So babe, come down. That's all he hears, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The from the uh from the room outside, the door on his camera, he got footage of it closing back and forth. So all you hear so nothing's is, there, it's just nothing's there. So I'll say and all you hear, babe, come downstairs. No. Nah. So what he does, what he does, I think um he tries to vlog it and like tries to communicate with the spirits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the spirit is just like fucking around with him. Like it's knocking on doors. It's like stepping like it, right beside him. Fuck. You know? And this is a real story because everything is caught. You saw the audio. Yeah. Yo, you know gins, like the, the concept of it? Yeah. It was in um Miss Marvel, like the the show on on oh. Disney Plus. Oh what? Yeah, when? like that was the whole like villain of it. But I yeah. think leave down in the comments yeah. what what jinns are part of in religion okay. because I think I think it's part of Islam. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, a that, lot of people the, a lot of people say I think it's the not, term yeah. jinn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's part of like a religion. Mm-hmm. But they actually used it in Ms. Marvel, and it was the same thing. Like they can shape shift. They're shit. like really powerful and shit, yeah. and they have powers to I guess persuade you mm-hmm. and make you do things right Fuck. Yeah, Yo, scary stuff. so do you know the the <clears throat> tesla story tesla story. like nikola no. tesla like how he was able to invent shit no 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 what is that so nikola tesla he says and he accredits all of his inventions mm-hmm. to this story mm-hmm. about a scientist who was tempted and sold his soul to the devil no yeah what so you ever heard about Faust? No, what is that? So the story about Faust, he's he's pretty much his sign. Literally, what you think would happen to Nikola Tesla? Uh-huh. He's a scientist that wished to change the world with technology and have like a big, I guess, discovery in technology. Mm. But in order to do it, he made a bargain with the, with oh, a demon, with man. the devil. That's now, crazy. Nikola Tesla, he accredits all of that to a similar thing that happened to him yeah. and the moment that he he like i guess envisioned it he literally says it's a vision it came to him in a vision mm-hmm. but what happened to his life afterwards what you know nikola tesla he died poor do you no. know that no nikola tesla he didn't have any money bro he was he was left in like a hotel somewhere in europe why did he blow it like no like he just didn't make money what? like he didn't make money and he didn't have any family left he didn't have any friends left oh that's kind of funny. yeah and he was Literally, they found his body, mm-hmm. and all he had in his in his room was like a can of beans and crackers, Holy and shit. that's what he was living off of. He was like so. I think he starved to death too, some shit like that. God. But he he died poor. Mm. Now, if you think about it, if you sell your soul to have inventions, yeah, you know what what would you give up? Mm-hmm. And probably give up that his family, yeah. like riches and everything else like that. Mm-hmm. But what's crazy is the invention that he did come to use and change the world with was alternate current, like, yep. which we use to this day. Mm-hmm. And it changed everything, right? Yeah. Like we're literally using that with electricity yeah. and he's the one that invented it. But we don't, you know what I mean? He didn't have that good of a life. But uh, yeah, I, I was going to say, but at the end of the day, was it worth it? I guess for the sake of humanity, feel me? Yeah, but... <laughs> no, but if you think about it for but the sake of... He, fin- he got finessed. Because <laughs> he was low-key, like, obviously, yeah, he would go down as a great or like, because he made this. But yeah, he got finessed because he didn't live a good life anyways. I know, but that's the point though. Like, what Like, what if his deal wasn't... He got what he wanted, in a sense. To invent, but like, he got switched up. He didn't, he didn't ask for fame. He didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for this and that. Mm. He literally asked for invention okay which he yeah. got yeah and which changed the world uh-huh. 
But I guess... But bro wasn't specific enough. Yeah, he wasn't specific enough. <laughs> he didn't add on like the actual attachments. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I want inventions. Up, oh, and then the man was like, all right, I'm going to make you broke. You can only have some beans. Yo, but if you think about it, okay, theory, yeah. uh-huh. would you say that doomed the rest of civilization or it helped it? Helped because, it. Because, hold on. Yeah. Because now technology is all reliant on that. Like mm-hmm. if that didn't exist, if... Alternative current didn't exist. Yeah, what would we how would how would we be living right now? Mm. Would we even be using computers and mm. shit? Would we be able to charge stuff like that? Feel me? Like, what did that doom humanity because of his discovery and quote unquote his deal with the devil? Damn, no, that's a good question. Still, because it it did take away aspects of life that were kind of natural, mm. and then now we only pay attention to things that are using alternative yeah. current yeah, yeah like if you think about it everything in your life that you're using it usually involves that type of electricity yeah, yeah, yeah. and then like phones and computers you know that makes people depressed and shit because of social media and yeah. like and it's, it's all just, tied it's, together it's all tied together it's all yeah, tied yeah. to you have to charge your phone to use it to use it yeah, yeah. Le- yo if you if you deep it it literally gives the device that makes you addicted life mm-hmm. so <laughs> oh, shit. oh fuck that's f- <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked that's if you deep it like that yeah, yeah. it gives life to what you're addicted to no that's fucked so uh, so you're saying like if we didn't have that guy and he didn't do like the whole deal we would still be like oh oh, oh, oh fire no 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 they <laughs> yeah, had but, they, but but later on there was we like would, steam and shit yeah yeah I mean, it depends, right? Like, what if somebody else would have invented it? We don't know for sure. Yeah, but it, like, came faster. Pause. But who knows if it, it would even be discovered at all? That, mm. Wait, what if we, we found, like, different methods and shit? See, but at the same time, it's like, since since that's so normal to us now, like, uh, what we use, I feel like it is a good thing. Because it's like, yeah, I love technology and stuff. I'm not a hater. Yeah, me too. Like, I'm not, I'm never yeah, a hater I'm not technology. Amish and shit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no that. offense, no offense. Yo, I literally like, didn't know that. Like until, until Nell, yeah, Amish people don't use electricity, yeah, bro. But until Nell dropped that video, they're so limited to everything. Yeah, which I didn't know. But it's interesting to see their life because they're happy with yeah, what they have. Yeah, but the, I I noticed that everyone's happy. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, and um, you know those people that I think it was, uh, some some documentary about like the what do you call those people? It's like they were like um old. They were old and like developed, but their face or something. Oh, it's like the. Um, it, the blue people are yeah, talking about. Blue, so it was like no, because they're 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 inbred. Yeah, inbred people. The inbred people. Yeah. So uh, when I saw that, the guy was um barking at the documentary, but the mom could understand all the barks. So <laughs> it would be like, Hur! oh yeah, he's saying like, oh have a nice day. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, but it's crazy. That, that's because that's because what they had there was like yeah. literally their mom had things with their kids yeah, and yeah, then the yeah. kids like it's all the same blood i know and then inbred humans it was you know? so interesting to see like there's yeah. a theory that's why freaking some of the royal family like uh-huh. maybe way way back they're so i guess they had like mad kings and queens mm-hmm. like there was a theory that they were inbred and that's why they acted weird Word. especially in game of thrones i don't know if you watched it no, no, no. but king joffrey was an inbred child because oh. the brother and sister you know what i mean oh. But he was the worst because he was, like, mad. Yeah. And even if you think about, like, later in, in Game of Thrones, this is for all the Game of Thrones people, mm-hmm. but the um, fucking Daenerys Targaryen, her, like, lineage, they only bred with each other mm. to keep the bloodline. To keep the bloodline. Yeah, because like, they don't want to, like, add on any lineages and shit. Yeah. Because they want to keep it to themselves, That's you know? That's true. Have, have you heard of um uh this girl named Nguyen Fen or Fong? Nah, nah. When um, cause like there was some like miraculous thing that happened to her mm-hmm. because like she loved eating sushi and shit. Yeah. So imagine like you're, you're eating sushi every day and nothing happens to you, and you go into a sushi restaurant one day mm-hmm. and you eat it and everything's blessed, right? Uh, I think the next day she caught she catches like the craziest fever, right? Hives breaking out, like from like a parasite. I don't know, like the, it's still like unknown till this day. And like she starts scratching oh, and stuff shit, like that. It's a parasite, fam. Maybe, maybe, but th- that's what you think. But the effects is different from like what a parasite would do to you. Yeah. So her husband obviously tells her, "Oh yeah, just uh, go get like some creams from the clinic and stuff like that, mm-hmm. right?" So she t- pops like pills. She she puts the cream on, and then one day, the next day after mm-hmm. she takes all the pills, she looks at herself like in the mirror, and her husband is in shock. Why? Why? Right? She looks back. And remember, this is a 24-year-old person. 
She looks like she's 60 now. Nah. Her face is like droopy. She, she aged or like she her, aged. her face just changed? So imagine she looks like this, right? Yeah. I'll put it up for the people. And then now after she eats the sushi. No. She goes from like 26 to 70 in like a, a day. Just nah. because something was in that sushi. What the fuck? And didn't you That's so sad, <laughs> bro. Didn't you talk about like uh, the story before? Is like how like she some person aged because of the demon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that, that wasn't because of the demon. This is fucking because of sushi, bro. That's scary, fam. Yeah. No, because if you think about, it, there's so many parasites that could live on fish, and it's just yeah. regular. Mm -hmm. Actually, in Japan, they have this ritual. It's not really a ritual, but it's like a, a normal thing they do. Yeah. The family members, they all take, like, an anti-parasite pill together. Oh, that's like good, Like, throughout though. the year. Yeah. I think every couple, like, I think six to 12 months, mm -hmm. every family together would, like, pop a anti-parasite yeah. pill. But I, we I, don't do that in North America, fam. Yeah. So, what type of shit is in our sushi and what type of shit is in our body right now? Yeah. Because we're not doing that stuff unless you're doing, like, those cleanses. You know you know what's fucked, too? Um... You know those pageant girls? Yeah. That uh that are meant to become skinny, like they want the perfect body. Mm -hmm. So uh, a mom I saw on the news made her daughter take uh tapeworm pills. Oh. So imagine you pop the pill and every oh, food. Yo, so it came out. No, all the food that you're eating will get eaten by the tapeworm. No. And, Wait, and did you put a tapeworm inside her? Yes. That's fucked. And I think she went to jail That's for fucked. it. That's fucked. She went to jail for it. She fam. put a tapeworm in her child. That's fucked. So. And she said it was like beauty pills or some shit Ew, like that. Ew, bro. So imagine you're at, uh, not, not coming out of your thing, but it's like you, you see a long tapeworm with all the food. Nah. Fam, you know you know what that is? Oh, yeah. You can just go to the Asian market and get slim fast tea. You know that shit? What was that? <laughs> Yo, my Asians, the remedy. my Asians know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. There's this tea that you buy at the supermarket. <laughs> you can go to the Blue Sky or whatever, Pacific. <laughs> yeah. Literally... It's called Slim Fast Tea. Yeah. Now, there's this girl that was on TikTok and she uh. was explaining it. I watched the video. <laughs> All you have to do is drink that shit. And she said, she, she explained in her own words, you drink it and literally you'll lose weight and, and uh, all your fat fast. Why? Because that shit's going to come out in the toilet. No. Yo, apparently. That's actually real? Yeah. If you drink it, you'll be on the toilet for like six hours. Ew. But you'll be skinny. Like, how much skinny you're like? I don't know. I didn't try it. <laughs> like, there's no way you shit out. Like, you may, may shit out, like, stuff for the day, but... I, okay, I'm... I'm for, let me say this first. Yeah. I don't rec recommend doing yeah. it. Like, don't do not do it. <laughs> but it's just interesting to me. Like, the slim... Everyone's, like, at the... the, the yeah, like, just, <laughs> Carlos just sold, like, 500... <laughs> Yo, use my affiliate link. <laughs> like they put a picture at like Slim Fast Deep no. ad, and it's just you like this. No, but a bit, like you have to, you're going to go through some pain, fam. Yeah. You're going to go through some pain because it's like you're going to shit out your whole intestine type yeah. shit. I, I've never understood like those, um or like my the most satisfying to people to watch is like, you know, those bodybuilders, like, you mm. know, and like uh, you, you paint them brown and shit to show them their muscles. Yeah. And yeah. then they finally get to eat a sweet. Like that is, <laughs> I get That's happy. That's a crazy feeling, bro. <laughs> I get happy for them, bro. That's like, a crazy feeling, fam. Yeah. Not gonna lie, it's the same feeling you get when like you at lunchtime. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. No, nah, relax. No, you know like lunchtime. Yeah. When you're eating your 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 same food for like weeks on weeks on and weeks. And then you get like McDonald's. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't get McDonald's, but your homie gives you like one fry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me why that one fry it will Way change better. your life, change your life. Yeah. Way better. Yeah, and it. it I think there's like something with. I guess scarcity. No, yeah, no. It's all. I was gonna say perspective. Yeah. Because imagine you're eating the same shit, but like gold comes out. You know what I mean? You know what? I don't know why we don't abuse that. Like, why don't we abuse um delayed satisfaction and shit? Because I know entrepreneurs, they really do. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll wait and give themselves rewards after they've done a lot, yeah. and it, it makes it programs their brain to work hard. Facts. But right now. The average person is doing the opposite. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're getting reward systems. Yeah. It's so accessible. Like just hitting their shit like this. Yeah. Even on TikTok because it rewards you because the dopamine is like hitting you. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. And like I had to turn off like Uber Eats notifications and shit because it's like deals why? on deals. Like the, uh, like random. <laughs> like they, I don't know why, but like they know when I'm hungry. Like boom, they'll pop up. Oh, McDonald's, you can save $50 right now. Because it knows, man. Yeah. And like it's crazy because um a lot of streamers mm -hmm. that I've seen are getting fat because it's like, yeah, they stream, yeah. but it's so accessible and they're making money. So imagine you don't even got to, when like you you up your lifestyle, mm. you don't got to run to your fridge no more. You can just, you know, let, let that yeah. shit come to you. So all the streamers, Phantom, well, no, Phantom's been, you know, but he was skinny before. 
C Blue, uh, a drill rapper, mm-hmm. he, he stopped dr- like doing all the drill. He became a streamer. Went from skinny to like aki. Like imagine yeah, yeah, yeah. like you think because now it's like an elevated lifestyle. Mm. You don't gotta gotta work for your food no more. You just that's buy true. It. That's true. Like, and it's interesting to see how because long long time ago the yeah. Romans mm. the beauty standard was was big. Like you're, if you're fat you're you're lit. Oh, was it? Yeah. Like if I you're fat you're like you're admired. Why? Because only rich people could get fat. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So it's whatever whatever is harder to do. Why did they switch up that thing then? No, it's because if you think about it, literally, it's dead ass harder for you to be in shape than be fat. Like regular people, it's easier for them to get fat. Yeah. Just don't work out and eat a lot. Uh huh. But back in the day, it was there wasn't even enough food to get fat, fam. Word. So the fat people were, oh shit, look at him. He's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's got this, money. Because if you think of it, the slaves were the ones that were these because they were the ones that were working hard mm, in yeah. Roman times, right? That's true, that's true. It's the calm before the holiday storm, but you can prepare your e-commerce business for the holiday rush now just by using ShipStation. Whether you're shipping from your house or warehouse, ShipStation can help you increase your profitability, save time automating your shipping and returns in ShipStation dashboard, and keep costs down with industry-leading carrier discounts while your holiday orders roll in. Personally, I love ShipStation to manage all of my shipping needs it's an easy quick setup and there's a free trial so if you're on the fence this is the perfect time to try out ship station i can always trust them to help me get the best discounted rate for my shipping you can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders in one simple dashboard effortless integration everywhere you sell online including amazon etsy ebay shopify and more you can manage orders print labels compare rates optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications ship station has enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. ShipStation's robust automations and reporting make scaling easy. And as your business grows, you can save thousands on shipping costs. You guys get industry-leading discount rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post. You guys can get discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. And 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year have become customers for life. So set up your business for the holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code JUMPERS today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. If your business earns millions or tens of millions of revenue, stop what you're doing and take a listen because NetSuite by Oracle has just rolled out the best offer we've ever seen. NetSuite gives you the visibility and control you need to make better decisions faster. And for the first time in NetSuite's 25 years as the number one cloud financial system, you can defer payments of a full NetSuite implementation for six months. That's no payment and no interest for six months. And you guys can take advantage of this special financing offer today. NetSuite is number one because they give your business everything you need in real time, all in one place to reduce manual processes, boost efficiency, build forecasts, and increase productivity across every department. Trust me guys, the power of having all the information in one place to make better decisions and the unprecedented offer NetSuite is providing makes that possible. More than 30,000 companies have already upgraded to NetSuite, gaining visibility and control over their financials, their inventory, HR, e-commerce, and more. So if you've been sizing up NetSuite to make that switch, then you know this deal is unprecedented, no interest, no payments. So take advantage of this special financing offer at netsuite.com slash jumpers that's netsuite.com slash jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s to get the visibility and control you need to weather any storm netsuite.com slash jumpers this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. give online therapy a try at betterhelp.com slash jumpers and get on your way to being your best self i'm not gonna lie guys some nights i go to bed and i can't fall asleep because i have too many things on my mind just racing through my thoughts and sometimes it prevents me from enjoying my life. And one thing I learned as I grew older, and especially as I made a lot more friends, is the people around me that have overcome problems like this all have one common solution, and that's talking to somebody. And the best way to get what you need is through therapy. We think we all have to fight our own battles ourselves, but we really don't. With a licensed therapist, you can face all of the things that's bothering you, and you can really break down and realize the differences you can make in your life. Everybody wants to feel better, and BetterHelp can help you do that. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's 
entirely online, is designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists from any time for no additional charge. Trust me, guys, it's never too late to give it a try. And if you've been on the fence, and especially if you guys are feeling a little bit shy to go ahead and meet somebody in person, BetterHelp is a great option for you guys. You can get the help you need with the ease of access, and it's all done professionally with licensed therapists. Therapy can help you figure out what you're going through so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. So make your brain your friend with BetterHelp and visit betterhelp.com slash jumpers today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Yo, I don't know if you knew this, but did you know The Purge was real? The Purge? Like, you know, The Purge, purge. the movie, like everybody's doing crime and you can do whatever you want. That was real. Like in Paris, like a few, a few months ago? No, like it was a real thing that they used to do a long, long time ago. (laughs) When? So in the Roman Empire, there was this thing called, I think it was a celebration of Saturn, Mm. something like that. But it happened during winter time, not winter time, but Christmas time. Okay. Literally, I think the 18th to like the 25th, Mm -hmm. it was the celebration of Saturn. And during that time, yeah. every single person could do whatever they wanted. And they encouraged people to steal, to do Whoa. crime, to just enjoy yourself however you please. Why? Like, Why? let yourself go. Why? And the psychology behind it is crazy. So, pretty much, they wanted them to go out full purge, right? <laughs> yeah. and, and cause, like, really shitty things to happen so that they can remind the people that it's better to be under their rule oh because like if you think about it reverse it, psychology yeah kind of it's, it's no it's just showing people that look at all the chaos that can happen if we just let you guys do shit oh, oh okay so it makes them believe in like okay he's a good ruler yeah because he keeps shit in line oh. but it was like a celebration at the same time so everybody's like partying and shit everybody's doing mm, whatever they want that's smart. but what happens obviously there's people that die uh-huh. and there's people that like go through really bad things that happen to them yeah And then once it's done, once everybody's like, I guess, sober, they realize, oh, fuck, look at all the shit we did. Holy shit. And then go, yo, I'm so, I'm so grateful it's over this and that. But they, they really got their true desires to come out and then they, they went ahead and did it. That's actually, yo, that's actually super smart. It's smart as fuck. Yo, in theory, you know how like events repeat themselves? Mm -hmm. Say like, we, the people finally don't listen to the, the govy. Mm -hmm. And we, we finally like, there's no more teams. Like we're all on one yeah you think that shit's gonna happen again yo low-key it might like i think i think it will always come back around yeah because people will get sick of what they have regardless Mm. yeah like that's my theory i think no matter what you're always gonna want what you don't have Mm -hmm. and unless you change your mindset about it yeah because if you even if you think about it a lot of people that are single Mm -hmm. they want to be in a relationship yeah a lot of people in a relationship they want to be single yeah 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 it doesn't matter. Like, you're always kind of thinking on the what if because I don't have it right now. Mm. And then it becomes a thing of you're you're here and there. You're here and there. But you stay at bay because of the consequences. Okay. But it's always the you want something, but you can't. Yeah. You want something, but you can't. And that temptation and that, I guess, like, energy to it, mm-hmm. that's low-key what makes humans go, you, you yeah, know, yeah, they, yeah. it gets their attention. It really makes them, I guess, like, move, you know? Because yeah, yeah. in the same way... It's used in marketing, mm-hmm. products, the most scarce scarce products. Like you, we're, that's the ones we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ones we want. The ones that are expensive because that's there's not a lot of it. This mm-hmm. and that. Yeah, because if you really bag it, like uh, Prada and Balenciaga, mm-hmm. imagine like it can switch up any time and be like, oh, for the people, and it wouldn't be as hype no more. Mm. Like yeah, the, now it's become it can switch up any time to uh, a rich consumer th- lifestyle to no, that's just regular mm-hmm. if they really just want to do that. But it's always dependent on the mass. Mm-hmm, it's yeah. always it's always depend dependent on like what the majority of people think. Yeah, but to get to the masses, you have to throw in the little things, uh, like the little mind tricks to get them there, right? Because mm-hmm. like you're not you're not. Uh, I don't know. It's like if it's in front of your face, it's like no, that's too easy. That I see it. You're not gonna go to that, right? Nah. What do you mean nah? I don't know. Do you think you could live Amish? No, probably not. Oh, no. Oh. If I was born into that lifestyle? No, nah, but if you're born with it, that's light. Like, that's not even serious. Yeah, I would. But going from this yeah, that's what I'm to saying. Amit, that's I don't think saying. I would. I don't think I would. Could you ever? No, I don't think. Because there's too much dopamine in this lifestyle. 
so unless like something switches in me, like I don't even want to live this life no more, which probably won't. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I, I couldn't do that. Damn, but that's just the basic needs of survival, though. If you really bag it, yeah. that means you can't live under just the basic needs of survival. Yeah, you have well, to live to some sort of, I guess. Yeah. I guess like I don't know, attention sucker. Yeah, and I'm like, not. That's I, the best way of describing <laughs> that shit. No, bro. Fact, I'm not denying it because like entertainment. 90, I guess. Yeah, entertainment. Because ninety percent people wouldn't. Because like now it's like yo, oh, it's it's just too crazy of a switch up, Fuck. man. So there's this uh there's this movie. It's mm-hmm. called The Village. Okay. And this is a crazy plot twist because yeah. what happens in this village, they pretty much live like Amish people mm-hmm. where they don't have any technology, no contact to the outside world, really. Yeah. And they're just living in together by their own means, food, everything like that. Yeah. Now, the, everybody in the village is told that they're not allowed to go outside of the gates Mm -hmm. because there's creatures that would kill them. And they're told there's these like, there's dead ass like monsters that will eat them and and feed on them and hunt them down. Now, this one woman, oh, yo, I I forgot what happened exactly. I think somebody was sick Mm -hmm. and they needed to get medicine, but they couldn't get that medicine in the village. They needed to go out to the outside world. Okay. Yo, this where it gets trippy, fam. Uh So, the girl, she goes against the village's, I guess, um, rule, uh-huh. and she sneaks out. Oh, shit. And when she goes to sneak out, bruh, <laughs> when she goes to sneak out, she obviously sees, like, one of the monsters and shit, right? Yeah. But she's smart. Somehow, she's able to trick the monster to fall into, like, a pit and kill himself. But when she went to go investigate the monster, uh-huh. she looked at the thing, and it's a costume. Wait, what? That shit was a costume. It was one of the villagers. Oh, so they tricked the whole village oh. into thinking into thinking there's there's monsters and shit yeah, yeah. that are scaring them and <laughs> keeping them away from leaving. Yeah. Now she went back to the village mm-hmm. and she realized, yo, holy shit! Like, she she looked in in the in the cabin yeah. and found like five different costumes. costumes. <laughs> yeah, fam. And they were just, they were literally just controlling and keeping them there. Damn. And when she left, mm-hmm. so she she was able to escape. Yeah. This is this is where it gets really trippy. Yeah. We think that this takes place in like the 19 shit, like maybe like the 1930s and or whatever, because they're all farming and stuff. Yeah. She dips out of the gate way, way, way outside into like, um, I guess the public and finds real monsters plot twist no 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 <laughs> that's a crazy plot no but she she literally finds cars oh, she shit. finds like technology and what happened was she was living in almost like a zoo enclosure yeah yeah obviously it was the literally gates. like a gated com- almost like a a natural reservation uh-huh. like cut cut off from the the whole world yeah but they were living there against everybody knowing like nobody knew they were living there yeah and the police like obviously investigated and shit and cracked that whole thing down damn but they were holding people against their own will is it based on a true story or like i don't know because this this shit could happen right yeah like who knows facts no <laughs> imagine like you're out in the like the night and you like you see a monster but like you see a zipper in the back like what yeah. the fuck <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> let me just unzip this yo it's like the, um there's this anime too that's very similar it's yeah. called uh the promised neverland oh i heard of that you heard Some, of it someone told me to watch that it's trippy. It's trippy. It's trippy because these kids, <clears throat> oh my god, these kids, they they grow up and they all just listen to this one lady and they're pretty much waiting to be adopted by a family. Uh-huh. And each one of them, they're just like they have their own bed, they they just know everybody in the place and they all have a number. They're like tagged on their neck. Yeah, yeah. Weird as shit, right? Yeah. Now, one of the girls, she gets chosen to get adopted to a family. Like, a family's gonna gonna adopt her and shit. Mm, yeah, yeah. Now, the mother, the only, like, adult in the whole facility, uh-huh. she goes and takes her to go meet the parents. Yeah. Everybody else, all the other kids are staying in the house. Okay. But something happened. She accidentally left her favorite teddy bear, and she left it at the crib. Mm. So the other kids, oh, no, she left. She left the, the bunny or whatever. Yeah. So she took it. There's three kids took it and went to go give it to her, but she was already far ahead. They went ahead and run like straight, straight to where they're going to, but it's already too late <laughs> because they couldn't find the girl. Like they didn't know where she went. Yeah. And they're just like waiting behind a car and they hear voices and they look to the corner and they see like this big fucking like demon. Mm. 
taking the girl, killing her, and eating her. <laughs> Holy shit. So what that whole facility was for yeah. was to farm kids mm. to consume. Yeah. But they thought that's just their whole life. Damn. So they're breeding kids and Damn. feeding them to like monsters. Yeah. That's why they have the cattle Ew, yeah. type of tag. Yeah, yeah. And what's even crazier, because they, they actually consume the brain part. Uh-huh. And the more, I guess, the younger or sorry, I think the older a kid is, there's more brain matter in it because uh-huh. they're smart, right? Yeah, yeah. And the whole goal of having kids there and, and teaching them stuff was to get them smarter and smarter and smarter mm. so they're tastier. So if you're like what a high fuck? if you're like a high IQ, you're yeah. worth a lot and you taste better. So this is like an elevated like um what's that one? The the Jack and Jill? Oh no no not Jack and Jill. The Jack one, and Jill's kinda like that, I guess. The the one where they uh, got fat and like the, the witch wanted to eat them. Yeah yeah that's Jack and Jill. So okay that's Jack so it's like an elevated version. Yeah it's like elevated like they're trying to get like get them nice and yeah. nice and tasty making them smart. Yo, shit. you should always drink that drink before, but yo, I don't know why, but I was just looking at your lips. Loki, it was hard to, to com- comprehend because you were like, blah, blah, blah. it was like, <laughs> yo, I don't know why, but I called it. Like I was going to start getting tired at 40. Yeah. And I don't know why. It, it feels like you just took a perk, man. <laughs> More relax, no, because no, right. look, it was like, you were like, blah, 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 blah. and I was like saying, yeah, in the story, but like Loki, I was like, whoa, oh what the fuck God, is going on? bro. No, pretty much like, Kids got eaten. Yeah. That's all. That's all you need to know. Kids got eaten, fam. That's it. <laughs> Summary. Kids got eaten. Kids got eaten. We're not talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, nah. But I just realized that, bro. Oh, you know, um, uh, there was an NBA player. I don't know if RJ showed you this. What? Uh, Kai Jones on the Charlotte Hornets. Nah, so he, I didn't. See- he went on live. And it was so obvious that he was off, like, some type of drug. Yeah. And it's so funny because, like, all of the, the Charlotte Hornets players unfollowed him right after that. I'm going to show you the video. Wait, why? What did he do? No, because he was just, like, acting like he was on drugs and shit like that. Oh, he and, was, like, like, acting a fool? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like, bad for, for business. So, look. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> so taken, man. The Charlotte Hornets is usually known for like so much fuckery. Like there's the mellows on there, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's people. There's people sipping lean. Like Miles Bridges, he hit a girl. Like this. Oh like, shit. Charlotte Hornets is like <laughs> just like the drug out team. What the fuck? Yeah, it's funny. But there's always gonna be, I guess, uh, lore yeah. to a team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you think, depending on, uh, I guess not. But like depending on what the team's values are, mm-hmm. or even subconsciously, yeah. like let's say you name your team after a mascot. Yeah, yeah. You think they'll start acting like that animal or that thing? Because oh. subconsciously they're they say it to themselves, we are let's say the Wolverines. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. the Wolverines. <laughs> yeah. And then they, they like subconsciously think like a Wolverine or whatever. Yeah. I don't I don't think it's is that deep. I don't know. It's yeah, re- maybe not. It's- but I feel like it really depends on like who's the leader of the team. True. Like what what I noticed is um we were playing like pickup soccer, right? Yeah. And Charon was choosing people based on their skill. Mm-hmm. And uh, Miles was choosing based on who plays together the best, mm. right? So it's easier to lead a team that already has chemistry. But say you have LeBron James, Kobe, but it's like clashing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, the, uh, I started a jumpers jump basketball team. I yeah. might, I might vlog the whole season because it's gonna be a funny season. Mm-hmm. And uh, but I chose it based on. Yeah, I don't want players that are good. I want players that I can have fun with. So mm-hmm. imagine the whole like lore team, like we have all this chemistry and we actually win a championship. That would be crazy. Because it's the chemistry that matters. It's the chemistry that That's matters. That's like uh, Coach Carter, fam. Yeah, exactly. Coach Carter, he he didn't necessarily want them to be like the star player always shooting and shit. Mm-hmm. They want them to like pass and work yep. together. Exactly. Because that what matters. I think if you really like deep it, mm-hmm. the chemistry matters so much is because it's not reliant on the energy of one person. Yep. It because, has to pass around. Yeah, because if you have, like, an energy in one, it can take you so far, especially if it's, like, a Kobe Bryant or whatever. Yeah. But when the energy, they, they feed off of each other and they grow together, Yeah. it's that bundle of sticks mentality. Mm-hmm. So I think in the, um, the Aboriginal, or sorry, not the Aboriginal, the Indigenous tribes, yeah. they had this saying, like, one arrow, mm-hmm. it's weak. But a bundle of arrows, you can't break. You can't break, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's deep, bro. I know. And even like, um, uh, since you're making a movie, you probably casted the thing based off their chemistry. Yeah, Cause, look Because imagine like, so say, uh, 
what do you call this? You have a female lead, right? Yeah. But a famous actor goes, oh, I actually want to do that. And she's like high up. Mm. But it doesn't match with you, obviously. It has you, to match. You would probably take it or would you would you get that just so you can bump up the views? What's more important? And I, I already know what you're, you're going to say. The, the, the thing is, though, yeah. if that act... Because usually if an actress is that skilled or mm-hmm. actor is that skilled, what their skill that is working with the chemistry. Yeah, yeah. And I guess that's why they're so, what do you call it? It's so high, highly uh, coveted. Yeah. But would it fit the role though? It would. That's different. Yeah. It has to match the role. Exactly. Because you can't fake something. You can, but it's not going to come out right. Yeah. It's yeah. like if I were to sit here and pretend I'm somebody else, like mm-hmm. that's not... Yeah, it's not gonna like come across well. Yeah, that's why whenever you wear the destroy lonely shirt, I get pissed off because like that's what? not you. <laughs> you fucking poser, give me that. Shirt. It's just a black long sleeve, man. <laughs> no, it says destroy lonely on it. You're not allowed to wear that, you fucking poser. <laughs> I get pissed off so many times. Low key, I might, I, I might have to sell it, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah know. it is bad though. It is bad. Yeah, low key, is, I don't know why, but it's always it, <laughs> like there's a theory that every time I wear it, something bad happens, right? Yeah. Like- <laughs> oh, and you know, there's more lore on. You know how uh, Demi was like coked up on like um who De- Demi Lovato was yeah. was coked up during uh Camp Rock. No, she wasn't. What was she? You actually? don't know that. So like like ha- at least Camp Rock three then. Fam, or back two. back this when Demi every time Demi's like smiling, she watch it back. She goes like this. Like you know the 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 Demi Lovato smile. She's oh, always like shit. And like you can watch back. Her eyes and shit are like this. Like people notice no it. No way. Yeah. And, I and, never noticed. And Allison Stoner, her um castmate, yeah. came out with more lore. Cause I think she did a whole like came out interview with this, like exposing the, the directors. They said the final scene where they were like dancing and like uh shorts and t-shirts. Yeah. They the directors made them do that during a Canadian winter. Yo, so it's they they're freezing. So and Matt, so watch it back. Everyone go watch back Camp Rock the final jam. You can see their breath when they're singing. You can see the 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 gas come out or like the the air come out of their thing. You, Cause you know when it's cold, yeah, and yeah, like yeah. you pretend you're smoking. Oh shit! When they're singing, so they just made it look like that. Exactly. So imagine uh, to put it in reference, she said the the directors and crew members had parkas on and heating packs. And there was everybody else was like freezing, and but shit. they were still cold. The the Fuck. directors, Fuck. Some people, some people were turning blue. They were slipping on the stage. Like, but the directors, I don't know why, but they had to shoot that day and made all these kids do that. Yeah. So it's like it's very fucked. Damn. <clears throat> yeah. See, so the unethical side of art is kind of fucked up. It is. That's the only problem. Yeah, yeah. And it it's it gets really like iffy there mm-hmm. because. You could really say like some art was made through tragedy or I guess unethical ways. Yeah. Camp Rock was an iconic ass movie, bro, but like that's you'll what I'm never saying, but you'll never like realize that mm, until and someone comes out. It sucks because do you have to attach it to what it is for what it is, or do you attach it to like how it was made? You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess that's a hard part. I think you have to attach it to what like how it happened. It was I don't made. know, to be honest. Because like let's let's say you you list you listen to music yeah. and then you're your favorite for example x yeah and he was kind of you know not like, the best yeah, example like, like the emson and thing like the emson thing with uh miles morales yeah like you wouldn't view spider-man the same you know fuck so I, it is attached like ah, i don't know but the problem i have though yeah is everybody wants to fight all these social justice battles <laughs> we literally have rappers talking about killing people yeah and y'all like are accepting of it yeah yeah Damn, that's murder. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But, but we're like so like pass through like the win. It's like who cares? Yeah, like it's nobody so, cares yeah. for some reason. Like what the fuck? <laughs> I know. Like y'all, it's weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the moment somebody says something about like another social justice issue, yeah. All of a sudden it's a problem. Oh, but murder y'all, you're good. You're good. And then uh, when um Christian rap comes in the scene like Yeezy, yeah, or then even it, or even anything different from murdering. That's like that's not rap. Yeah. But why it's why weird. why does it have to be I know. Why does that have to be rap? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's weird, bro. I guess, man. <laughs> Shit, it's fuck, man. I it's think fucked. you know what? Mm-hmm. I I still listen to like rock right now. Mm-hmm. And it's so weird to think that that used to be what was popular, but it's still it changed. Like mm-hmm. it was such a great of a sound, like everybody was listening. Yeah. But it becomes different as time goes. And why is it not the same? Like, you can't take somebody from this era and just throw them and listen to that, mm. like in the past. I guess 
I can, maybe quite a few others can, but the majority of people can't. And why is that though? Because if it's such like classic music and that was such like a, a push for its time, yeah. what were the, I guess, I guess variables that made it different, like made them not want it, want to like it or made them like it? Mm, that's interesting. Was it like, um, cause I know rock is very hardcore. Mm. Was not it, exactly. You know, yeah, not, all, not all of it. Because like I take back what I said about like all the the old pe- old heads saying like it's not as violent as before. Because fam, I I seen some interviews and G G Allen was like throwing shit on like the people. What well, the depends? Crowd. That's like punk. Yeah. That's oh, like punk oh, that's rock. not rock though. That's like that is punk rock. That's like punk metal. Rock. That's like metal. Okay, well, but it was I it, I feel like it was definitely hardcore that nowadays like even like you say something bad about so- something little like you know Twitter it'll get yeah. on your ass. So imagine. I don't think you could do that. Like, I don't think you could go back to, like, what they were doing. You know, I have a theory yeah. that the reason there's no, I guess, I guess, like, not a lot of relationships right now yeah. is because the Wait, music. Wait, not relationships, like. There's not like, as much, like, marriages and true love right now is because of the music. Mm. I have a theory. Because, listen, back in the day, all these rock songs and, like, ballads and all of that shit, yeah. they're all about romance, fam. It's all love story type of music. Now it's all, oh, let me add to that thing. Yeah. Sexy Red. Yeah. It's the, all about dating multiple people. Yeah. And like, uh, there was a theory too where how Sexy Red, they're using her to fucking make like all the girls go go crazy and like just live the outside life. You know, like, oh, we're outside, shit like that. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I mean, because all of her tracks, uh, ski, I'm outside, uh, pop my pussy, you know, like shit like that. Like twerk on everyone. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why is there such a push on her? You I know, know what I mean? It's so, and I know it's like as soon as like the push is done, they'll introduce another woman, try to make it as uh, the same thing, yeah, as as like slimy as possible, like you know, like I'm outside another one, because the, the last year was um Lotto. Yeah, even before that, it was like Cardi B Cardi or B, whoever, yeah. you know Cardi what I mean, B, Megan yeah. The Stallion. Like exactly. it's all the same, bro. But you know why it's crazy? Because girl rap this summer was way better than guy rap, because mm, even it was guy, low key. It was low key. even guys <laughs> were singing those songs. Yeah. That it actually was. I'm not yeah. gonna count. So imagine, like, yo, they, they're they're really like pushing it crazy now, and that yo, it reflects society, fam. We're all complaining about oh, there's no more love, there's no more like this and that yeah. because y'all are indulging in shit that yeah. makes you think that way. So imagine, like, you, you just go listen to Keisha Cole. Like that was uh, times before. Like mm. it was very gentle. Like even listen to Usher. Yeah, <laughs> listen to R&B. Honestly, there's really good R&B artists right now. Yeah, but it's not as Pop, I want to say popular, but it's not as like mainstream I anymore. Don't, for I some don't reason. know why why R and B fell reason. off so crazy because it's such a great it's such a great genre. I know what the fuck. Even I used <laughs> to hit on it, but like I, sometimes I can't listen to rap so much. So I went to R and B, and like my my people showed me, and I used like it's such a great energy. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I, I love R and B and shit. I yeah. listen. I did ask listen to everything, and the way I see like what's popular and what's not popular. Yeah, it's it's so. It's so prevalent when I see people. Mm. Like, I understand exactly, like, what they would listen to yeah. and how they act is based off what they listen, fam. Yeah, facts. It's dead-ass programming. Like, the more you listen and play it into your head, you're, you're going to end up like that yeah, yeah. regardless. Mm. And it's not necessarily your fault. Well, it is kind of your fault, fam, to be honest. No, it's not. It's, it's, your, it's your fault for not, I guess, changing once you know. Mm. Okay, I get yeah, it. Mean, because it's I was, it's yeah. not your fault originally, but it's it's your fault once you realize. Mm. You get you get that? Yeah, I get that. Like, like, like if I listen to rap music all the time, I know what it does, but I still listen to it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, how come there's no PSAs about that shit? There's only <laughs> PSAs about like, because yeah. you know media is already controlled by like the people that want you to do bad. So why would they say, oh, you know what I mean? There was yeah. never no PSA about nothing bad, fam. On 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 a cigarette. The the crazy thing like the only disclaimer is like oh it fucks you up and that's it. No, but that's that's, a, gonna that's smoke pretty it. bad though. Yeah, but men's are still gonna smoke it regardless. Like it doesn't really matter. Like they do it in the smallest font. Like you know what I mean? Mm. The fine print. <laughs> I know. Yo, you know what, fam? You know what I just realized? Like yeah. I saw this. I saw this TikTok. Mm-hmm. Did you know aluminum foil is really bad for you? Oh yeah, and I used to put that in my teeth. What the fuck are you putting? Yeah, teeth? yeah, for um for girls. When you put it, Ferrero Rocher is better. It's gold. <laughs> I know. I used to love silver though. <laughs> no, but like cooking with aluminum foil, yeah. especially if you burn it, there's contaminants that go in your thing. Oh yeah, but who's really cooking? No, like there's- Oh, a- like when you put it in a toaster? Yeah, everything. Oh, what the fuck? 
You put it in a toaster. I use it for that. barbecue. What? Yeah, everything. Like, you use aluminum foil. The contaminants go in your food. And you know what it leads to? What? Some of the most common problems in, in people. Shit. One of them being Alzheimer's. Yeah. Uh, mental health issues. Fuck. And all these other things because of the contaminants of the aluminum. Mm. And that's why, like, you know, people avoid uh, deodorants with aluminum in them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the exact reason why. Oh. Very interesting stuff. And I didn't know this, but even... um. Like your skin, yeah, it absorbs so much just from whatever's dropped on it. I didn't bag that, bro. What do you mean? What do you mean? So, you know how like we think whatever is in our body comes through our mouth, right? Yeah. You know you can literally just like put water on onto your skin and you'll absorb it. Absorb it? Yeah, fam. You bag it like that? <laughs> what? So like when you're taking taking a shower, you're absorbing. Well, yeah, you're absorbing water, but like this is a go. Yeah, because okay, a great example. You know the yeah. nicotine patches. Oh, yeah, you, fam, you just put that oh. shit on you and you can absorb it through your skin. But it, I never really think about it like that. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of like soaps and lotions that are really, really bad for us that when you put it on your skin, you absorb it uh. and it fucks up like your, your hormones and everything like that. Mm, yeah. But we don't, we don't really take that in because we, cons- we always think you consume things through your mouth. But nah, you consume it through your nose too. Yeah. And your skin. Your skin is the largest organ on your body. It's everywhere, bro. Facts. And, like, you know, it's crazy, too, because it's, like, I've seen the shoppers. So, like, say you go to shoppers, the, the th- shit. There's a drug mart, by the way. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, pharmacy. Shoppers drug mart, yeah. yeah. So, you'll see, like, the five-in-one lotion and the five-in-one um, uh, conditioners. Yeah. But those are actually super shit for you. They're really Cause, bad. Yeah, because obviously, like, my friends are roasting me, like, you use that shit? Like, you use that? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> What the hell? I, I didn't know nothing about this until I started looking up. And then, but you see like the the homemade black, like say black Asian products, like yeah, Indian yeah, yeah. products. They're on like the lower shelf. You'll never see them. Mm. But those are the ones that are actually good for you. Yeah, those are the ones that are good for you. You know what I mean? Like as soon as I started like using actual like maybe like herb inf- infused like sh- shampoo, conditioner. Like it started, my hairs went from, I went, I usually like go like this. Yeah. And you'll see hair, a couple oh, hairs fall shit. out. And I stopped using that. Because using the five and one. The five and one, bro. <laughs> like, fuck. that shit is getting to me, Wait, bro. what the fuck are the five? I don't know. Like, <laughs> you, can, you get conditioner, you get shampoo, you get, uh, fuck it, I don't know, like, oils. What the four, bro? I don't know. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, you see, but you see it on the things, like, ooh, five and one. Like, <laughs> I, I, get five, all, I, I get value. <laughs> the, yo, but the other thing God, is, like, is like, 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 toxins. Like, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> My goodness, oh. you could probably use it as like Windex and yeah, yeah. clean your mirror. <laughs> You've seen the the Nair hair removal video? Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah. That's fucked. <laughs> Yo, that's so, that's so. Oh my! Wait, you, what are you talking about? Wait, what? What, you, what the, are you talking the, about? The Nair. Oh, so you definitely think about the pranks? Oh, you definitely haven't seen it. So like this this YouTuber, he's he's doing like um a whole like uh clean my clean my ass theory. I mean clean my ass video. <laughs> And and he's like he's like just talking through like he's like oh yeah this is what I did and then it flashes his bum Ew. It fla- and like g- Ew. guys uh, people have been showing like their parents to catch them off guard and he's like the parents are like what the <laughs> hell man <laughs> so if you want to go go watch the hair my butt uh, my hair butt removal video. why do you want to watch that because it's like trending and shit ew bro <laughs> go show that no I thought you were talking about like the shampoo pranks no. they put nair in the shampoo bro oh oh. No, so like they accidentally make themselves go bald. Oh, that's fucked. That's no, that's fucked. You can, I'll sue. That's so <laughs> fucked. If I find that, if I'm in the video and I find that person, I'll sue. Man. That's so fucked. But bro. You, you can also sue like um going back to tapeworms and shit. Yeah. Like uh some guy found like a the little tapeworm because he thought it was mayo. Ew. Because it was white and Ew. it was small. But he started seeing it going up, like moving. You know. Ah, that's nasty. You know what I mean? That's nasty, bro. And like you taking, you can find that in pork super easy. Yeah, yeah, yo. This is this is crazy, and that's why uh, Islam's banned pork or something. If you take if you take a pig and then you put like white wine all over its belly, yeah, you'll see maggots like come through. Oh, that's so gross. Ew. Yeah, like they'll they'll seep out like yeah out of the skin. Yeah, yeah. That's so nasty, dog. Yeah, yeah. Is it Islam's that bar- banned pork? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. That's so right. That's good. That's Mus- good. Muslims, they, Muslims, they don't eat yeah, pork. Muslims, yeah. yeah. Muslims want pork. Yeah. But yeah, that's fucking crazy. I know. It's it's just interesting in that way. Like it is really bad for you, low mm-hmm. key. Yeah. I still eat bacon like once in a while. Oh yeah, I but, for sure you bacon. Because Filipinos they love like lechon and shit. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know why. I just 
that's like the one food I, I can't. Yeah. And uh, you know what I, I sometimes I'm really sketched about when I go on uh, like a vacations to a resort mm. and I see all the flies and shit coming in. It's like, obviously that shit is not new. Even like you go to Mandarin, you don't know how long those chicken wings have been sitting. You know what I mean? Yo, this we're 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 too much of pussies, fam. To be honest, yeah, I'm gonna be I real. know, I know. We're at, this is like some first world problems, bro. Yeah, I know. But I, t- I, t- I took a step back and I realized what we're talking about. Like, holy shit! But at the same time, it's like yeah, that shit is gross. Like, end of the day, it is gross. No, like, it's some pussy shit. To yeah, be I honest, know, I know, I know. If we're real, like, there's so much we complain about or or think is a nuisance. Mm-hmm. We have to realize, yo, like for example, they people would love to want to just eat food. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Period. Like, people are hungry, bro. Mm-hmm. And for us to complain about flies around, shit, it's kind of sad. I know. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> shit, it's kind of sad. People people out there will eat the flies. I know, I know. You know I mean? <laughs> like, I seen a video of, like, th- this is dead ass what they do. They uh-huh. take a pan and they collect the flies like this. And they And then they, they make it on a burger. Oh, and then they fry it and then eat it. Because that's what they have to eat. Yeah. You know what I mean, but we're we're complaining about like a one-two hair in the oh, in the right. meal, and we throw that shit out. <laughs> Fam, just eat it. Just take it out, bro. No, it's that. probably shampooed anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I'm still not eating. <laughs> you know, hair is super bad for you, bro. <laughs> eating hair is bad for yeah, you. Yeah, super bad. What? Wait, why? Because the, all the germs in it, and it gets contaminated. In the is food. it actually that bad? Yes. Yo, uh, I didn't know this personally, but I seen like some video, like you know, uh, some shit that changes your life, like the the. Uh, the thing in the washroom, the air dryer. Yeah, that's bad for you. Yeah, so like, imagine like the hair and like. You know, that's not even that's not even that bad. Like, if you really take it in, mm. they did they did an actual scientific study. Like the the air the hair sorry not the hair the hand dryers, mm-hmm. it's bad for you because the air comes onto your hands. But it's the exact same if you just walk into the washroom. Why? Because the air inside the washroom is filled with pee, uh, it's filled with bacteria. If you can smell it, mm-hmm. it's already touching you. Yeah. <laughs> All of that stuff is in the room already. It's in the air, fam. <laughs> yeah, I remember when uh, men were drinking out the NYC H2O. <laughs> <laughs> so RJ drank it and he's like, ew, there's something in it. That shit is directly connected to the washroom. Ew, ew. No, that's not what it was ew, from. Ew. That's not what it was from. Yes, I, it was, I have a theory it was just from BG's braces. <laughs> yeah. That's that shit happens to me. I have some bra- I have braces and food yeah, stuck yeah. in my teeth too. Ew, and I was drinking the same fucking thing. <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> Just gross. <laughs> That's why it's important if you have braces, you have to like clean it all the time and shit. <laughs> do you? you? Know? I, I, I doubt you do. No, I do. Yeah. But like, I have to. Yeah, I mean, I have to use like a pick or something. Yeah, and that's something also. Also, I was telling like, uh, Brenda was telling me about. I I forgot like you had braces on. Yeah. And like, imagine like the day you get off braces. I don't think it would be so different. Why? I don't know, cause I, like the majority of time I see you and I've talked to you for so long now that I just seen you with braces. So I don't know, man. You should, I think I'm going to get grills. <laughs> no, 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 don't not get grills. No, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna get like a clean grill, cause it's like. I don't know. I like having metal on my teeth. What I'm, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Yeah, but that I was going to say, just keep the braces on even if your shit is straight. Like Uzi. <laughs> keep the braces on? Yeah, like Uzi. How his what shit the fuck was, was the point? <laughs> how his shit was still straight and then just, just keep it on because that's such a look. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to get like a... I'm going to get like, I don't know, something like clean. It doesn't hurt you at this point a lot because you're just... D- does it hurt? What do you mean? Like like when you're eating food, like it doesn't hurt at all no more? No, when you get it tight in, it hurts. Oh, when you get it tight. Yeah, in. when you get that shit tight in, and, yeah. and like, I don't know, it like pushes your jaw and shit. How was your first week? Because I know the first week is it's not trying. that bad, really. To be, it, you know what it feels like? It yeah. feels like um, ah, oh, actually, it's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I- no, you know what it feels? It literally feels like, like you're you're biting on a loose tooth. Biting on a loose. So you ew. ever had a loose tooth as yeah, a kid? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, that's what it feels ew. like. That's what it feels like. Yeah. But I'm not a bitch, bro. I'll, I'll yeah, eat yeah. food regardless. Okay. And I eat, I eat the food that I'm not supposed to eat with braces on, to be Damn, honest. Like gum and shit? Yeah, no, like um, you're not supposed to eat popcorn. You're not supposed to eat hard foods. Oh, okay. So like toast be. and bread you're not yeah, supposed yeah. to eat. I eat that shit anyway. See, I was blessed because if you look back at my old pictures, I had a, a, right here, like mm. the Timmy Turner. Like a gap. gap? Yeah, and I don't know how miraculously, like thank God, mm. like it just closed by itself. Mm, like probably was, you just didn't fit in yet. Yeah, that's 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 probably what it is. Because sometimes, like uh, back then, like I thought my nose was super big, and I didn't mm. like my nose. Like mm. that was like one of my biggest insecurities. Mm. But like as soon as I grew, like my face grew into my nose. Yeah, you know what I mean, like shit like that. So it's like now I love, I love. Yeah, my like nose. kids, yo, Loki kids are still. If you're young and listening to this right now, mm-hmm. like don't be worried about your appearance. 
because that's not your final form. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> like, that's, not. that's not your final form. Like, it's, it's so easy to be, I guess, uh, insecure about your acne, how you look and shit. Mm. Bro, to be honest, like, everybody at your age at the time is going through the same thing. Don't even worry. Don't even stress. Yeah. When you're our age, you won't even, like, you'll laugh at, oh, man, I was really insecure about that shit. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's not that serious. Fine. It may feel serious, and I get it. I was like that, too. I understand, but it's not that serious. Yeah, I know. You'll get, you'll get past that. When I was a kid, bro, I used to always freaking put product in my hair. Remember when I had, like, spiky hair? Yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't go outside the crib without, like, without putting... Without doing it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was so, it was such a thing to do. It was such a, like, oh, I need to do it or else I'm not, look yeah, I'm not gonna look good. Yeah. Because my hair would be like this and shit, yeah, you know? Yeah. But starting college, you didn't fucking care, I don't think. Yeah, You but had it, like, down and shit, like... No, nah, I was growing my hair. Oh, yeah, you were growing your hair. So it, it just looked crazy, but, like, the fact that you didn't care about it is, like... That. I was always wearing hats. Yeah, I, that was, was my hat true. era, low Really? Key. That was my hat era. That's good. That's cool. And then, yeah, at, at one point, it's just, like, who even cares, yeah. man? Honestly, the person that you want you to love you, mm -hmm. they, you don't want them to love you about your appearance. You want them to love you about, like... Mm -hmm who you really are. Yeah, bro. Because if you find someone, let's say you're crushing on somebody that's kind of shallow and they only like you because you're pretty or you're handsome, whatever, fam, wh what about the days you don't look good? Mm -hmm. Are you going to feel shit to yourself? Yeah. Because you don't trust in the loyalty that they have because they don't love you for who you are. Facts, like, not physically. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They want, you want to, have a connection that's deeper than that. Facts. That's why you always got to take a girl swimming first date. Just kidding. <laughs> take a girl swimming. <laughs> Just kidding. To see her true for final form. <laughs> <laughs> what you get? Yo, if a girl can't swim, is that an ick? If a girl can't swim. Nah. nah, nah. I don't think so either. But if a guy can't yeah, swim. So cute, I know, bro. <laughs> Which is so fucked. Which is so fucked. I don't know why society <laughs> made it that way. <laughs> but also, no. What's an ick is like when they're trying to run underwater. <laughs> Have Ew. you seen those videos? Have you seen those videos? <laughs> they try to run. Yeah, but it's survival, bro. Like, I, I, no, I don't no, like, knock yeah, on survival. No, no, not survival, but it's like even in the shallow pool, and then like you go down and see what they're doing, and they're like running. Oh yeah, <laughs> when it's like floating in the air like this. <laughs> That's a nick, bro. I seen I seen so many videos of like uh, girls saying their guys eggs, and it's a hundred list. Like, oh, you can't even laugh at something. Yeah, you can't even do regular yeah. shit, bro. But, hey, man, we're we're breaking that shit, man. Not everything is an egg. Everyone is individual. You <laughs> I me? think the funniest shit. It's not even. What do we have to call it? We just call it something like you look. You funny. don't like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just look funny doing. Exactly. The the funniest one is is when you're on a diving board. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you hit one of these on the diving board. <laughs> <laughs> No. That's not funny as shit. Yo, you could be any you could be the most handsome person, most prettiest girl. If you're hitting this on the diamond board, you're a joke. I'm that's sorry, you're a joke, bro. No, that's actually facts, bro. Holy smokes. <sighs> but yeah, man. Yo. Yeah. So when I was in Bahamas. <laughs> what happened, bro? So So, okay, I'm gonna give a backstory. Uh. So um my dog. My dog Diego, when he he's kind of older now, he used to be able to run up the stairs and go down the stairs, no problem, <laughs> yeah. right? But there's a couple of times this this motherfucker he fell, oh shit, and then he like tumbled down the stairs and shit. Oh shit, it was, it was pretty bad. He survived, he's fine now. But every time he goes to the end, like the top of the stairs, and he wants to go down, he'll just wait there and like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like crying shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my dad in Bahamas. Uh. <laughs> We ended up going to this place. I think it's called the Blue Hole. Something like that. Whoa, the Blue Hole? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, what the heck? And it's like a big ass like crevice. Or not even yeah, a crevice. It's like where a, you dive in. Yeah. And the like, Red Sea. No, it's not the Red Sea. It's it's this is in Bahama. I, it's probably named the same oh, okay, thing. Okay. But it's it's something similar. Okay. But okay. it's like super deep. Yeah. But anyways, it's a cliff jump. Mm. And my dad's like the bravest man, obviously, Holy right? Shit. So he goes up to the top <laughs> <laughs> and he hits he hits the Diego. <laughs> He said it himself. He's like, I pulled the Diego. Fuck, man. Nah, bro. I don't blame him. I don't blame him, bro. No, but that shit was tall, yeah, bro. Yeah. No, I would do that too, fam. But I there was something in me that really wanted me to go do it and try it myself <laughs> and see my as brave. But I knew, like, ah, nah, let's, let's not do that. Let's not do that. You go with the, huh? Yeah. I'm just trying to embarrass myself. Because it's so funny because he would go to the top. And obviously, when somebody goes to the top, <laughs> everybody on the beach is watching, watching right? Bro. Because they're like, oh, shit, somebody's going to do it. So he had like people. <laughs> oh my god! And he just and they're all leg. like waiting for something to happen. And he didn't do it. <laughs> Everybody has their phones out and stuff. <laughs> He's just shaking. <laughs> Bro's just shaking. And he never went down. Bro. Damn. 
Never that's kind of, down, that's kind of funny still. Yo. <sighs> but honestly, like, if I went myself, I feel like I would be, I would feel super powerful. No, nah, bro. I should have just done it, man. I would I feel mean, like Superman. For, for the peer pressure of, like, the people watching, I think I would, you have to jump. Like, there's no, there's no going back. Like, I remember, there, uh, you know, the, the bungee jumping one? Yeah. There was this, like, Chinese woman who, like, uh, the, the guy said, oh, yeah, just, just yell out loud, and then on three, well, I'll push you. I mean, you have to go, okay? Because yeah. I can't push you. So the, the lady, three, two, one, ah, and she's just standing there. Oh, she didn't go? Yeah, ah. she's, like, she's like, the guy's like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, I'll count down again. Three, two, one, ah, and she screamed again. She didn't go. So the guy's like, do you want to go down? She's like, no, no. <laughs> She's like, nah, I don't want to go down. What the fuck? <laughs> Honestly, I think it depends on, like, who's around you. They'll make you do it. Yeah. Not necessarily even just, like, them kind of persuading you, but them almost, like, being there. Yeah. Their mm-hmm. presence makes you do it. If he's a daredevil, you're going to want to do it. So, there's this one time my my family was making Halo Halo, uh-huh. and there was a jar. It was, like, it was so hard to open, right? <laughs> yeah. Pass it around the family. This is crazy, right? Uh-huh. So, my uncle... He was a bodybuilder back in the day. Give it, they give it to him first, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And he was trying and trying. He couldn't do it. He, put, the, do he it. put like the, 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 what do you call it? The cloth over it. The, the, yeah, yeah. Couldn't pop it, right? Passing my dad. My dad's huge. Does it? Can't do it. Can't do it. Blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, you have to heat it up. You have to heat it up. <laughs> heat it up? And then my ass, what I do, I'm like, let me try it. Yeah. And then, and then my uncle says something. The moment he said it, changed my life. What? So he went, he went. Oh, you think you're stronger than us? <laughs> oh, shit. No. Nah, I took the jar. Yeah. I went like this. And I told myself, even if my even if my hands break, I'm opening this jar. Oh, I shit. went, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at myself, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then I went back. Mm. And I popped that shit off, bro. I popped that shit off. <laughs> because you just and didn't I, want your ego. Yeah. No. Like, when my uncle said that, yeah. fam. My hands were gonna break that yeah, day. Yeah, fam. No I matter what, that. my hands are gonna break. I, I'm opening that shit up. And I actually opened it. And I look around the room, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So saying, so saying the way to like trigger you is like, you gotta threaten you that like, you can't do this. Like, that's your number one. You have one to be thing. in a goal mode. Low key. Yeah. If, if you're in a goal mode and whatever that takes for you to get in that goal mode yeah. is done. Like, yeah. I think everybody has it in them. Maybe, like, some people, they really re- need to find it. Mm-hmm. But once you go- get in that mode, like, yeah. all you see is red. All you see is boom, you, you gets the, done. You pulled the, the Israel Adesanya when he, when he looked at his opponent and said, I'm ready to die. Yeah, and, that type of shit. And when you see that, holy shit, like, what can you do? You already lost because that guy is willing to die. You're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not. <laughs> fam, that jar was being opened. That's what I'm like, saying. By, by all means necessary, Your hands fam. were about to break. Yeah, fuck that. If I'm the jar, get me. <laughs> I'm opening, fam. <laughs> Yo, it was so funny, bro. That and then, and then, obviously, I got some respect that day. Yeah, yeah. But, but, uh, my uncle wasn't clowning me too. Ah, oh, he feels nice. Wow, <laughs> yo, I could, yo, I could never survive in your family. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> like, he feels nice. Yeah. I forgot what I said. He said some shit along the lines of like, "Fuck." I forgot what he said. He said something like, "Oh yeah, he feels nice," and like, "I've always been this cool." I said something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I showed him. I'm like, oh, "I always been this cool." Nah, I would get fucking demolished <laughs> at your family party. I I feel bad for like the, the the girlfriends and the boyfriends that you bring to those parties that don't know you. They guys. get tested. Yeah, that get tested. Holy shit, man! <laughs> but it's the testing that makes you strong, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, is is that even type even of stuff? the prom dates though? I felt bad for like, holy shit, man! It's just prom, bro. <laughs> Bros getting paged at the door. Who who the fuck is, house is this? No, but like it's it, it comes with um I don't know. It's entertaining to us. You, <laughs> like, know? you know, like when we were at New York, the border fam, the guy said the guy already. Like, where are you guys going? And I said New York, right? And the guy's like. We're in New York. <laughs> I, I looked out to Carlos because my lines were already rehearsed. <laughs> my lines are my lines are perfectly rehearsed. Uh, yeah, we're going to New York. We're staying in this. But he pulled it. He pulled a switch. He's like, "We're in New York, dumbass." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it goes like. <laughs> I'm like, uh, guys. So so my boy says, "No, we're going to New York." He says it again. Yeah, we're in New York. <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, "Oh yeah, uh, just arrest me at this point." <laughs> And I go, yo, New York City. Yeah, and I'm he's like, oh, oh okay. okay, yeah. I'm like, like damn, bro. Like, bro, you already know you're, I'm scared, fam. <laughs> you already know what I meant. Like, just be easy on me, man. <laughs> so, yeah, Wico household, I'm never going to You know to what that. it is? I think it's like when you have so many people of like, um, I guess almost ego too. Yeah. Or high. Uh, it's like p- power. Yeah, like when you have a bunch of people that in like high physical power or even just mental power. Mm-hmm. 
they want to test it because it's entertaining to them. Yeah, yeah. I think Bro was just bored because it's 4 a.m. He had nothing better yeah. to do. He saw it's this one little, of those. He little, saw, little, saw a little scared Asian. He was like, dude, where are you? You're a dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> like, he just the way, wants to like, test The way you. he said it to me felt like he was saying, like, you're an idiot. Like, we're in New York. But no, mm. you know what I meant, bro. Like, yeah. It's okay. Those type of people, they just do it for bullshit <laughs> yeah. reasons. You know what I mean? And honestly, it might come from insecurity. Yeah. It might come from insecurity because I think the strongest people in the world... Mm-hmm. I guess physically maybe are insecure. That's why they're trying to get more strong. Yeah, yeah. And that's why they go into positions like that to if you bag it, right? Yeah. Because yeah. if they're really training that 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 hard, mm-hmm. yes, it's for themselves. And don't get me wrong, like it is for that. Yeah. But it is an insecurity of like I'm not strong enough yet. Mm-hmm. I'm not strong enough yet. Mm-hmm. That's why I train. Facts. But that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing because you you do become stronger and you do become I guess almost invincible. Feel me? Yeah, yeah. And once you get to that level and you're satisfied, then oh, you're, wraps. oh my God, your life changes. It like, changes. It you're changes. so happy now because nothing affects you no more. Yeah, imagine you become UFC champion. Yeah. Holy shit. How do you feel? You probably probably do anything. You probably think you could rap too. Facts, facts. <laughs> yeah. No, it just takes one example of you achieving something that you can now, oh yeah, I everything in this world. Mm-hmm. And that was, that was uh, what do you call this? That was me passing like a calculus course in high school because mm. I really set my mind to it. Like even though I didn't want to do it. Yeah. But like even though I didn't want to do it, I still passed it. Like, oh yeah, I can do anything. Yo, y'all can do anything, man. Facts. Believe in yourself. <clears throat> believe in what you can do Facts. and just go do it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you'll find something in your life that will challenge you. But the moment you overcome that challenge, mm-hmm. it will change. Keep God and work hard, man. That's, Alive, that's all you need to know. All right, Jumper Jump out. Oh, sorry. Uh, what the fuck did I say? Thank you everyone for watching this yeah. episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that yes, good sir. stuff. Go on Spotify, Apple, download this podcast. We love you guys, man. I'm not sleeping tonight. I took too much caffeine. <laughs> Jumpers Jump out. out. Deuces.